today I got access to two of your favorite content creators accounts, two pro accounts, and then one surprise account that you have to wait till the end to see. Some have spent thousands of dollars and some have spent a few dollars like almost a decade ago. And I wanted to see if there's any differences between content creators and pros accounts who both play Siege for a living and then compare them to see how far spending money in a game like Siege can actually get you. Starting out, we are going to be checking out Evan's account. His main is a level 379 with 3000 hours played, but he did mention he had about 10k total hours across all accounts. And this next part is either going to blow your mind or not surprise you at all, but he owns just a single elite skin. And for a content creator, that is incredibly rare already. <laughs> the, the, the one skin that really comes to mind, let me show off this one. Okay. It's it's the Dustline seasonal skin. At the time, I'm like, this oh, is hideous. Yeah. Yeah. And I only got it for Valkyrie. And I think that was back when you had to unlock it for each like operator. Yeah, this one. I love the Dustline seasonal skin. Honestly, the Dustline seasonal skin is one of my favorite seasonal skins. It's sick and it's really, really rare. It's crazy rare. I missed out. I, I wish I got it for everything. I think after that season, I, or maybe it was after um, Skull Rain when Cav came out, I started getting the the skins. I love yeah, how it's sketch, just nice. a rare also. Like, yeah, right? nah, dude, it honestly, it needs its own category. You know how like some of the oldest skins don't even have a rating? It should it should be like that. I love how it's a blue skin, but it's it's legit sick. Yeah, some of the skins are like like yeah, I have like I, I, everyone has a belt. Wait, that's a rare also. I didn't know Crossfader was a rare. Mm -hmm. That was Coastline. Whenever Mira and Jackal came out that season, that had the best skins by far. It's a beautiful skin. Yeah, and it matches Plasma Pink perfect, which it, Plasma Pink attachment is also really rare because I'm pretty sure they took that out of the packs. Right. Do you own all the elites or are there any that you don't have? Um, I don't I don't think I have like many elites. Hold on, let me see. Yeah, I, I didn't buy many of That's them. Awesome. I know I have I, know I, I have love Castle's that. elite. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> well, the reason is, the reason is, if I could like jump ahead, I know you have like a, a list of stuff you want to ask, but like the reason is I, I just don't feel like I need an elite because I have, I have the pink uniform on everything. So. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you like the uniforms. <laughs> it's beautiful. Yeah, I usually use like a pink uniform and then like the dumbest looking headgear, so. Now I'm going to be comparing seven main stats on each account and those are total hours played, total elites owned, favorite gun skin that they own, favorite uniform or headgear that they own, the rarest thing that they own, their least favorite rare item that they own, and then their most valuable item that they could make the most amount of money possible from if they were able to sell it. I thought that'd be interesting to throw in here, especially since the R6 marketplace is in beta. But yeah, while we scan through some of these insane skins in the background, I do want to quickly thank the sponsor of this video, Turtle Beach and Rocket, who have been supporting the Bra Fam for over two years now. You guys already know that I am addicted to their keyboards like their Vulcan TKL Pro and their Mini 2 Air, but I also have been using their new stealth air controller and it is hands down mind-blowing like what other controller can you check social media notifications on and ACOG spawn peak with at the same time there's none anyways if you were naughty last year and spawn killed so much in 2023 that Santa did not give you the best gaming gear on the market then I have the link down below if you'd like to browse plus if you do decide to make a purchase then code bra will save you 10% on anything let me get on the r4c that's where the the skins shine so like you said, there was like some unrare skins or where are they at? The, the unrated ones. They usually just put them at the top. Yeah. Oh, heart attack. That's the first Valentine's Day event, right? Right. And this was the first um, St. Patrick's Day skin, which is super nice. What? Dude, wait, I've never seen this either. This is my rarest skin. That's crazy. So they used to, they released a St. Patrick's Day exclusive. I didn't even know that they released a St. Patrick's Day. I think it was one of those where it was like a challenge. You had to get like, or maybe it was just like you had to play during St. Patrick's Day. Isn't it crazy when like in hindsight, when you look back at on all of these, they're like, bro, all I had to do was like get five headshots. <laughs> all I right? had to do is spend like six dollars 
all I had to do. It was like, nah, in 2016, this is like, nah, you don't do that in video games, bro. Yeah. Yeah. So is the Heart Attack Valentine's Day skin, is that universal? Uh, yes. This is the second Valentine's one. This is the, the skin I run, the combo. It's so nice, dude. Why do I like skins like this even more than like the animated ones and like when they're trying to get all crazy? Like just seeing stuff like that is so nuts. Do you think that you're going to have the ability to, and I know you wouldn't, I wouldn't, but like to list that on the marketplace when it comes out? Oh, sure. Wait, actually, maybe this is like such a rare skin. I don't know if that would even be like available. They're not even going to know that it's in the game, bro. Yeah, right. Um, yeah, it's it's uncommon. That is crazy. <laughs> it's uncommon, but <laughs> it's like one of the skins. rare skins in the game. <laughs> Yeah, and then of course I have the the beautiful pug charm. I don't oh, know what this is man. from, but is that a heart around it? Maybe it's a Valentine's Day thing too. I don't know what that's from either. Honestly, I've never seen the I pug you charm. That's awesome. <laughs> they, we need more stuff like this, dude. We're, we're missing this in C. Just what I I know, right? It, it must be really hard to pick. But out of all of your gun skins, what do you think your favorite gun skin is? It has to be this. Like it has to be the Valentine's Day. Like it's just so beautiful enamored and to clarify enamored is the year two yes the valentine's day event so this would correct. be february 2017 yes that's awesome i love it can i see the um the heart attack one to compare the 2017 to the 2016 real quick uh yes that was a blue i think do you get like uh funny reactions like when people spectate you do you, do people ask a lot about your skins no the only person i, I think ever recognized it was macy j i like randomly mm. got into a game with him he's like oh that's an og skin and i was like thank you thank you finally finally getting some recognition but i was gonna say it probably takes somebody that would appreciate it to recognize it you know right it's because right. that's i mean it just shows how rare it is though that's crazy this is probably another really tough one out of all your uniforms or headgears what's your favorite you know it could be just a headgear if you want to or it could be uniform headgear combo. What's your favorite one? Let me let me think real quick and say this. I I don't have it on this account, but the Muppet headgears are by far my favorite. I I love those too. Well, I'm gonna give you two because this one on my Tachank is rare, and you know how I said that. Uh, some of the skins got taken off my PS4 account. Yes. I bought a bundle, a Pro League bundle, and I still have the helmet. So at least I have the helmet. I know this is rare. Yeah, I recognize I recognize the helmet. I like how it's uh, uh, Asian lettering too. That's pretty sick. What is the name of the helmet? Um, let me see. Epic. I'm surprised they gave it an epic, bro. It's not rare. Right. <laughs> Zitadel. Zitadel. Yeah, I was gonna I was gonna let you pronounce that one. Zitadel. Zitadel or Zitadel? Yeah, that's sick. I like it. But I think my favorite skin. It's gotta be Pizza Mozzie. Like it's just gotta be. <laughs> Isn't that so crazy how it was a prime bundle and it, it legit is one of the best skins. All right, let's see it. This is going to be another really tough one. What do you think is the rarest item that you own? Oh, if I could have my friend join, he has a year one season one copper charm and it is so beautiful. <laughs> what? Um, I could actually ask him uh, if he's like on soon. I got the whole shebang. I got the, the hot pink attachments with the skin and the charm. And so that charm is the season one copper charm. Is that the one I'm looking at? Yeah, black ice copper. That is crazy. <laughs> it's, it's literally the top. It's the top charm. <laughs> that is, that's wild. I've never seen the black ice copper. I like how you can barely even tell it's like the, from the black ice season. It's just the top edge is like slightly blue. Oh, I love this charm. This is the best charm in the game. <laughs> it's the only charm I used on console and as soon as i was able to bring it over to pc i just put that bad boy on everything and can i look at spellbound one more time real quick i love the stock on spellbound imagine imagine the recoil and those spikes just digging into your shoulder dude love oh, yeah. it that is such a good design well i think this might be my rarest skin oh Ralphie. Uh, i can't remember if this was in 2015 Christmas, like right when the game came out, or if it was 2016, I so, can't remember. Yeah, because the other one is Rudolph, and I also, I don't remember if it's Rudolph or or Ralphie that was the year one, but yeah, no, this one is really rare. It's gotta be this or this, like one of the two. They don't even have rarities, that's how yeah. old they are. <laughs> what is like a rare item that you have, but you don't really like? Like basically, what's your least favorite super rare item that you have? 
Hmm. Oh, this is difficult. Oh, this is a good one. This there was a battle pass, or not the battle pass. It was like the year pass, right? It was the obsidian, which was extremely nice. You remember the obsidian skin? I do remember obsidian. Yeah. The obsidian skin was really nice, and I remember their next battle pass or year pass had a skin that was like it was supposed to be the skin you wanted to buy the battle pass for, and it was not good at all. I remember just being so disappointed that, <laughs> that this was their hyped up skin. Like I was like, this is so boring. It's a yeah, it's it's a it's a washed up obsidian skin. And yeah. It's funny that they gave it the epic too. What do you think is the most valuable item that you have? If you could sell one of these for cash or coming up on the R6 marketplace, not that you would, but what do you think you could get the most money out of? Ooh, that's tough. I'm trying to think of like what people actually want versus rarity. Yeah, that is true. It might be like, it could be like one of the seasonal skins, like one of these. Mm, the, yeah, the Red Bull skin. I know I had the uh, the Pro League bundle. That's the, the one that got taken off my account. The Pro League bundle for Ash, the original one, the uh, like carbon fiber and gold. Okay, I remember that one. Yeah, that would be crazy. I think one person offered me $100 for it Dang. way back. So maybe that one. This blue nebula i know a bunch of cheaters use it so it's not as rare but <laughs> not many like real people have it rarity doesn't necessarily equal value it's like what are what are people gonna want i, I would think it's probably the hard skin like it's maybe i'm biased but it's just so yeah. nice and no, no i agree it. from what i've seen it's it probably is the ralphie or um ralphie or heart attack probably oh i just here's the skin these the racer skins no oh. one has these oh yeah what i don't have this. this this was a you could get racer skins for each of the units so like the fbi sas and everything and i got it for everybody except i think the russian and i think buck and frost whatever they're okay so this was available during year one and there were just packs for the different groups yes and it was one of those that you had to like pay actual money for like not not renown so this is something that came over from your PlayStation? Yes, I think the best looking one is on, it's on the MP5. I think it is alphabetical. Here's Obsidian. Mm, that's nice. That's so crazy yeah, that some of these are blues, bro. That's sick. This is the racer. Yeah, it's it's really nice. I'm pretty sure this would be the most expensive skin I have. Uh, here's a charm I could show off. I have two, the Ooh. Outbreak ones and like you remember when they had the challenges and you can like play 15 rounds as castle or whatever yep, and get yep. a castle charm? I <laughs> usually don't see those. Here he is, here he is. Mm, the sma yeah, smash your TV. I, I like how it's like this. there's stuff orbiting around him too. I think this was like one of the first ones that had. And this was from the actual Outbreak event, right? Yeah, you had to complete the challenge, or not even challenges, you just had to beat the game mode. And I remember that game mode was pretty difficult yeah on some of the maps one of my friends bailey who went to a paris the paris major in like 2018 he got me this bro yeah that an attendee charm from the first few years of the game those are crazy rare next up we're gonna be checking out varsity's account his main account is a level 503 with over 7,000 hours played and he owns every single elite skin that the game has ever released you, you still have the uh, elite bundle button but there's nothing there it used to have the flex where it said you own every item in this like section. I guess not anymore. Uh, my favorite one is definitely for smoke, just because I'm a very big advocate for the elite animation should include their gadgets somehow, and his actually like uses the gadget in a funny and cool way. Yeah, not. So I really like that. Not just doing a cringe K-pop dance instead. <laughs> yeah. Getting into the, the meat of it, what is your favorite gun skin? I think my favorite skin, it's not rare because you can, I think you can still buy it, is probably the Dark Zero, like Hype Beast one for the T5. For the T5, yeah. No, that is one of my favorite skins too, and it goes perfect with the purple attachment like that. They added like more animated skins and they had something like this where it would move or like shimmer on his scales, that'd be really cool. All right, what is uh, your the favorite uniform that you have or headgear? It could be just a headgear if you want. Uh, probably Pizza Mozzie. Oh yeah, and this one's rare too. Yeah, I was gonna say, not many people have this right now. Yep. Remember before Outlines too, how awesome the skin was on Villa? Well, awesome for you if you're using it. Yeah, I mean, I've always been a big fan of 
like uniforms and headgears like this. I'm not one for tactical. Like I know you can always run Ember Eyes, but yeah, I like the fun, the creative ones. And I wish they did more prime bundles like this because this one was in year I think four. Yeah, for a prime bundle too. Um, this is definitely one of the best. All right. Um, the next thing would be, what is the rarest item that you own? You don't even have to like it if you don't want to. Like if you're put in a competition of like, you have to put your rarest item up against somebody else. What do you think your rarest item is? I do think the rarest one I have is the Maverick Waffle skin for his DMR. There's a matching one for his uh, pistol. That is sick. And it's literally called Waffle. Uh, let's see. A glazed waffle, yeah. <laughs> That's even better. And then he has like the uniform and headgear that match, like the chef a la carte skins. And you said he got that from an alpha pack like a couple years ago or? Actually, I got it in Dread Factor. Dang, okay. So it was only six months ago, but it's not in the alpha pack like highlights anymore. Do you know when it was released? I'd be curious when it went into circulation at least a year before I got it. Cause I remember for a while, like I was pining for it and I couldn't find it. Dang, that's sick. What's a really rare item that you have, but you don't like it? I think it has to be a charm. That one. Oh, if I could remove this bro. from my account, I would in a heartbeat. <laughs> <laughs> it might not be too rare. I, I got that one. I got that one. Look, it's even like floating out. What is it doing? <laughs> He's flying. Wait. Roy's charm can't even charm right. But in actuality, an actual <laughs> skin that I'm like, eh, kind of indifferent about. If I if I could go back on purchasing it would be this one for Ash, the WWE set. <laughs> Like, it's not bad, it's just... <laughs> it's pretty bad, bro. It just doesn't look like Siege, man. <laughs> no, I I would rather them just full-on change characters into, like, people like Master Chief. Like, I, yeah. looking at that, I would think it was, like, Thorn, maybe, if I had to guess if I didn't know anything about Siege. You know, I would, like, you would never think that that's an Ash skin anyways. Yeah. But yeah, I, if I could, I'd probably get rid of this one. <laughs> All right, let's see. Last thing. What do you think your most valuable item is? I think it would either be the waffle skin, or if not that, probably plasma pink. I know they removed that from alpha packs. Yeah, I know they added it to Bravo packs last year though, so I don't know how rare this would actually be. I'll be really curious to see like where market value falls for a lot of items. One of my favorite skins that uh, I have is also this one for the G36C. That is nice. Like they need to do more like this and make it even better than this. Like make it more lively, make it move more. Yeah. And I don't know if you've ever looked at Valorant skins, how they transform, like the more kills yep. you get, they need to do stuff like that. Like if this could change colors every kill or get like more of these, I guess, tentacle things poking out, like that would be so cool. I know even in Valorant, there's certain guns where they have reload animations, right? Like that you like you reload like a dragon's mouth and you know, like to put the mag in. Like there's there's some crazy ones. Um, I know people are gonna ask this and I didn't catch it. What is the name of that G36 skin? Flesh Seeker. Flesh Seeker. Okay. I don't even remember what it's from. Oh, Doctor's, Doctor's Curse. Doctor's Curse, okay. Yeah, that is sick. That's a sick one too. Yeah. Oh, I do think that that will probably also be another really valuable skin, or like some of these skins, uh, for the marketplace would be like the headgears from Doctor's mm, Curse. Yeah, like the, the first year one. One that I don't have that I think would be really rare is the Sugar Freight headgears because they haven't come back since. Oh, you're like right. Like the Muppet the headgears. Muppet ones, right, yeah. If you get a priest perspective, you should get him to show I you. Got, like he has yeah. all of them, I think. That's funny. I'm pretty sure I bought all of them too, but I never use them. I forget about them. This is <laughs> like the IQ one and stuff. Yeah, those are pretty funny. Yeah, and like very few people bought those uh, Sugar Fright packs. So it wouldn't surprise me if they're very rare. That was the TDM event, right? Yeah. Yeah. Before the TDM meta. Now it is time to jump into the first pros account. This account belongs to Laxing, who has had an extensive career, ranging from being the Pro League Year 1 Season 1 champion on Xbox, winning the 6th Invitational in 2017, and then continued in the competitive scene all the way through part of 2023, where he recently retired and is now the best analyst who is currently working for Yubi. On his comp account, he has about 3,000 hours played, is a level 189, and just owns two elites. One is for Blackbeard, and then he has Master Chief for Sludge. For the kill there on the Laxing. Oh. Laxing gets a double kill, and oh, he's gonna get Laxing! the quad! Laxing with the quad kill! 
you probably have some of the rarest skins though from early pro days especially because you were console right so yeah i mean my most expensive item on my account is my account people have offered me ridiculous amounts for my xbox account and for my fucking pc account so when they were able to transfer all of the skins from console to pc you must have had some pretty crazy skins i'm did you did you get glacier and everything from early on yeah 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 do you own all of the elite skins? That's that's probably one thing I didn't care to like buy. I mean, honestly, I stopped buying skins once they made it pro league and you can't use skins anymore. I was like, mm. what's the point of me buying skins? That is true. That's a really good point. You have to run default everything, even drones, right? You can't run drone skins anymore. Oh, it's all default. So I was just like, well, there's really no point because I'm not going to be wearing this shit anymore. So pretty much like I have all like the early stuff for the most part, but the newer stuff, I just was like, nah, I'm not gonna even ever be using it or seeing it. And I never was touching the game outside of comp anyways. So it was like, what's the point of me spending fucking $50, $60 just for something I'm not gonna be looking at? If you had to pick your favorite gun skin that you have, what do you think you'd pick? Mm, I mean, everyone I feel like is gonna say fucking black ice, but obsidian goes pretty fucking hard, not gonna lie. Obsidian is nice too. I don't know, this MPX skin goes pretty fucking hard. That is nice. That was from one of the battle passes a while back, right? I think so, yeah. Yeah. I'd definitely say like that's one of my favorite fucking skins for sure, even though I don't run Valk anymore, but definitely the bare bones. Yeah, no, that's super nice. I like that a lot. Yeah, I don't know, this, this, this goes hard. Yeah, no, that's sick. And this one might be hard since I know you don't purchase a lot since all the pros got to play default, but out of all the ones that you do have, what's your favorite uniform or headgear? It's a toss up between two people. So the OG one that I used to run back in the day was the fucking top hat Thatcher. Mm. This shit just this shit just went hard for no, like I'd run the all black skin and that would just go hard as fuck. Like <laughs> I like it. I didn't care what was like, it just went hard as fuck. Um, and then it was Blackbeard's top hat. This shit used to go mad fucking stupid. <laughs> Wait, what is the top hat from? I forget. It's like steampunk or some shit. Oh. But yeah, like, I don't know. It was a toss up between these two. Like, I was always running the fucking top hat. Like, good day. How are you shitting on you? So, by far, by far my favorite head pieces. Classy, man. I like it. So, this one's probably going to be hard for you. What do you think is the rarest item that you have on this account? Right here. So, how many of those are there? 10. There's 10 of them? Only 10. Only 10. And those are the only winners of the first ever invitationals that have these. That makes sense. So unless someone cheated and like fucking got one through like fucking breaking code or some shit. But other than that, the only way because other invitational charms, everyone like if you were a pro and you attended an invite, you just got the charm in general. I mean, obviously, they've made some exclusive ones now for teams that won like G2s or SSGs, whatever. But like this specifically at the time and even now, like yeah, this is by far the most. Dang. That's the full screen of it. So this was given just to the champs, or was this given to the two pe the two teams in the finals? I think this was the two team in the finals. If if I'm not mistaken, I could be entirely wrong, but still, even then, like, yeah, still not a lot of people have that. So that um the 2017 Invitational Charm, um Invitationals was still held in February back then, right? So what's crazy about that charm, that's about to be seven years old. Correct. So that's like, yeah, that's one of the uh, most OG charms I think I've ever seen. That's crazy. Pretty sure everything else you've probably seen. I, even those um, those rectangular flag charms, those are old school too. Yeah, you're right. These are. Do oh. you have any charms from the Black Ice season? Just this one, the diamond charm. Oh, Black Ice Diamond. Okay, yeah, dude, that's rare too. This is rare. Yeah, because only, you know, people that pl played and were good enough to get diamond and black ice, you know, that's that was still seven years ago. That's still seven years ago. That's crazy, yeah. Look how shit, look how shit it looks yeah. like. It's so bad. <laughs> Can you still buy some of the old skins? I'm curious because... It depends on what it is. Well, like, some of these ones are, like, very OG skins, but I don't know if you can buy these anymore. 
Like this, this one's an OG one. This one's an OG one. So um, those zebra, like the zebra and the leopard skins that you have, I do not believe you can buy those anymore. Those are very OG also. Wait, there's there's one specific one that I know that's super OG. Is it these ones? Oh yeah, fire. Yeah, fire is OG. Fire. Um, oh, you have Ralphie also. Ralphie is OG. What's Ralphie? Uh, yeah. Uh, let's see. Yeah, oh, this one. That's one. Yeah, that, I think so. Is it, it was either Ralphie or Rudolph from the very first Christmas? Yeah, these are all rare. Like, can you still get Peacock and all that? Peacock was given out only for the closed beta testers. So Peacock may be the, the second rarest. rarest. Yeah, I think your charm is still rarest, but your Peacock skin is probably the second rarest skin that you have. Oh dang! This is probably season one, grade three. Season one, grade three. How do so? You, only players got that, or that was that a shop? I have no clue. I have no clue. This was from Xbox that sent over. Probably S one, grade three. That's crazy. Yeah, like all these ones. Like this was a very common one back in the day. All right. Yep. I remember this. I remember everyone on Pulse would run that on the ump. I don't know why. And it says fire was given out for both open and closed beta. So that would be another pretty rare one your fire skin so all of these like snake elephant ones and all that are like very og i remember so the the leopard the zebra those were part of something called the safari bundle and i remember that being available within the first couple years i would not be able to tell you a a, a timeline for my life but those are og skins also I dude okay that looks familiar also is that part of like a gemstone bundle or something no this, nah, this was just og og like this was one of the default skins that you could buy for the guns so all of those probably came over from xbox you think or yeah 100 percent. oh this is this is an og skin right here this one i'm pretty sure summer bloom hold on yeah pretty sure this one's super og the phoenix hmm i also have not seen that skin either do you did these wait when did they introduce alpha packs i'm trying to think like this was this was literally in the beginning of the game you had to complete uh the situations to unlock this but I, don't know if you get it. I don't know if you i don't know if you get it anymore oh no this this was the fucking one that you i think complete yeah this was the one that you got from completing the situations but i don't know if you get it anymore why is its name bartlett university because that was the that was the last situation was Bartlett University. Oh, uh, did they take out situations? They did. Yeah, they did. They did. They don't have so situations. So you can't get that. That is super fucking OG then. This is going to be really tough. What do you think is the most valuable item that you have? I will say this and not to say that like I was shown the cash, but both for my PC and Xbox account, I have been offered 10 grand. Dang. Did you consider it? No. Yeah, dude, yeah, that's sick. Because to think too, so only people that went to the Invitational and with a VIP ticket back in 2018 got this. Yeah, so that's probably, what, around 100 maybe? Oh, I, okay, wait, go, I'm sorry, can you go right and then up? Oh, this one, yeah, season probably grade one. So this is grade one, this isn't, this isn't grade three. Oh, so grade three is more rare? I don't know which one's more rare and which one's not. You have so many rare things that like, you're just so used to seeing it, but then to somebody else, you're like, holy shit, you have that? I don't even see half of these. Next up is the recent 2023 six invitational champion, Benja of G2. <laughs> he is the youngest player to ever win MVP honors for a six invitational. As soon as I saw his account, my mind was already blown. He's a level 500 with 15,000 hours played. He only owns a couple of elite skins, but he's sitting at the number 39 champ, which has probably only gone up by now. And he has a 100 win-loss ratio. Yes, you heard that correctly, a 100 win-loss ratio. But that is not the only thing that's really cool about his account. Bitch! All right, all right, yeah, so the three things I noticed right away, you got the level 500 rainbow logo, you got almost 2 million renown, which is incredible. Level, you're, you're 39th, that's amazing. And uh, the one hour ban. Yeah, and the one hour ban. <laughs> I love it. That's awesome. Are you in the process of grinding to number one? Are you happy with 39? Not, not, not really. I, I just try to keep my win. Wait, uh, what? You have. Yeah. <laughs> what? 
Have you lost a game this season yet? Yeah, I certainly have uh, lost one. I've lost oh, one. okay, okay, okay. So I was going to say, because if you lose two, it's going to cut it in half. You can afford to yeah, lose yeah, one, yeah. but that's it. You can't lose anymore. Oh, yeah, you got to <laughs> no. gotta stop for the season, man. I'll, I'll continue, I'll continue. Now it's uh, 21,000, <laughs> you know? Dude, what? Um, This one's probably hard, but what would you say is your favorite gun skin? It doesn't have to be rare. It doesn't even have to be something that's like super sought out. Whatever whatever your favorite gun skin is, what would you say it is? Uh, it's probably the Kovana one because it was my like first Pro League team. So. Oh, okay. That, yeah. yeah, that's nice. Probably this one. And it's also my favorite charm that's on. Like the flip, is that like, a flip, flip side? Wait. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. Wait, the flip side tactics charm. What was what year was that? 2018? 2017? Uh, yeah, I think 17 maybe. Dang, that is sick. And then what year did this skin come out? Uh, I think that was 2021 or two. Okay. Maybe two. Oh, I feel 21. It was 21. It's clean. I like it. What would you say is your favorite uh, either uniform or headgear that you have? So I actually f found out like one hour ago that I had a like pretty rare skin on like uh, the, the old Pro League sets here. Oh, dang. Yeah, the old Pro League sets are, are pretty dang rare. Not many people have those. Was that like universal or was that only for certain operators? Uh, that was only for like four operators, like Frost, Blitz, Monty, and Pulse. Dang. And that was just a bundle sold in the store? Yeah, I, I, I didn't bought it. I got it like one year later uh, when they already were out, like because I got some code from winning a, a Danish LAN party. Nice. It was Frost, Pulse. Can I see the Pulse one? Yeah, the Pulse one, yeah. Dang, yeah, that is nice. The gloves are, are nice in game. Uh, yeah, that's that's something that's really underrated. I feel like on uniforms is people overlook the gloves. The gloves can make a big difference. You know, it's like the main thing you actually see in game. That's nice. I always laugh at how like some of the coolest rare items are like greens and blues. This is going to be a hard one for you. What would you say is the rarest item that you own? Uh, I mean, it, it has to be one of the two things I already shown. Either the like uh, flip side charm or like uh, the skins on Pulse and Blitz. Those skins are sick. Can I see the flip side charm real quick? That was one of the first pro teams that I think that got an item in the shop, right? That was like back when they first started doing it. I think I have all of them except like Elevate and some epic team. I can't remember who it was, but that's cool too. Just because flip side's not part of not part of siege anymore also so do you have anything that's really rare but you don't like it i mean i don't know if it's rare but i have to like wait is that oh that's the eg one but i have also the like uh, the penta charm but i never use it i don't know if it's that <laughs> yeah so you'd say this is one of your rarest items that you don't like <laughs> yeah yeah. Is, yeah oh yeah you got all the penta charms huh yeah nice nice and then let's see this is uh this is the last one what do you think is the most valuable item that you have on this account probably the go for charm because you you can't get that anymore i don't know like i i think many people have it but i still think like it will be probably like yeah uh, right expensive it's a sign of skill and it's og and impossible to get now so then you have a lot of charms yeah, I tried to find the Go for Charm, but... So you said you used to play on PS4, right? Yeah, I used to play... I mean, if I if I converted my account from there to here, then the most, like, uh, rare thing will probably be, like, uh, Black Eyes Copper Charm, because I was in Copper on PlayStation. Oh, right? dude, that is... That's amazing. I've only seen the Black Eyes Copper Charm one other time. It was Evan Brodick's friend who showed me for this video, so that's crazy. Oh yeah, this is the Go For Charm. Dang, that's nice. So, uh, I don't know if I'm crazy or not, but when you're scrolling like 10 seconds ago, I could have sworn one of those charms said 2016 on it. It could have just been uh, my eyes breaking. And I'm sorry to make you scroll. Look at that scroll. Look at the tiny section of white on the left, dude. <laughs> Holy crap. You have like 5,000 charms. Oh, it's a nip charm, I see. Yeah, yeah. 2018, yep. Okay, okay. You have you have probably one of the biggest charm collections that I've ever seen. Oh, you have the Ents charm too? Yeah, yeah, the Ents. That is sick. I mean, I, I try to not buy that much uh, stuff anymore because like uh, apparently it takes down your FPS in game. I don't know if that's true or not, but like. Oh, really? Yeah, okay. Yeah.
That's a good pro tip. I'll uh, I'll have to look into that. I'd be curious. Dang, that's sick. I've actually I don't know if I've ever seen the Ents charm. Yeah, with Chiata and Kanto and those. Yeah, that is awesome, dude. Now it is finally time to reveal who the last account belongs to, and it's none other than Spoit, who not only is a huge R6 creator with his own in-game charm, but he's also one of the best pro players to ever touch the game. He's a major champion and is playing for M80, so I thought it was the perfect way to wrap up this video because he has the best of both worlds, and can see both sides of the coin. Starting out, he is a level 524, has about 12,000 hours, and has about 75% of the elites. But what could the rest of his account look like? If you have a ton of skins on your account, that it's possible it can drop your frames. What do you think about that? Oh, 100%. So basically this account, my main account, right? Like I've been playing for it on it for like, well, like since at the end of year one. And, uh, you know, there's a lot of skins stacking up over the years, right? And I'm at a point where I have like 930 charms. <laughs> so whenever I go on my, um, my accounts where I only have like, let's say like 20 charms, like I can definitely notice like a difference in uh, like latency and like small FPS and stuff like that. Do you like the account that you scrim on? Is that the account that's also your main, or do you have like an account that you play like just ranked in or something? No, I mean I do play ranked on all my accounts. Uh, usually I just get champ on my main, then I you know go on my alt accounts and do the same thing. If you go on the R6 tracker leaderboard, and then you can like kind of select um, like all the seasons, and you can check you know certain stats for like let's say all time highest uh, win wins or stuff like that my account is gonna be up there in the top in the top 10 ish but that's not that's only my main account so i have, I have like another account which is like level 250 so you gotta take those into consideration too you know i guess getting into the getting into the meat of it do you have a favorite gun skin that you own it doesn't have to be rare just your personal favorite gun skin i'm a big fan of it's kind of a boring choice like i'm a big fan of black eyes yep yep me too black eyes is a good one i prefer black eyes over let's say um glacier you know mm, it pops way more in game exactly it is way cleaner but also i'm a big fan of this skin oh the red bull skin yep i love that one that's a good one Wait, yeah, season three, year one. So this is a, this is an OG for sure. You have like such a good mix of like OG. So have you been playing since like December 2015 when the game first came out? Like, so I was started I started playing the game. Uh, I picked it up on uh, at the end of season one. So when you know they had this black what was it called Black Friday free weekend. Yep, yep. So I was just playing the weekend. I played like two days or three days for free, and I was like, damn. This game is the shit. I gotta get this game. This might be the one to do a career out of. <laughs> yeah. So how old were you at that time? Oh, shit. I think, yeah, I must have been 11. Let me see. I should have, uh, yeah. So Black Ass, such a clean skin. You know, it just goes so well. So yeah, there's that. This, I don't know. I remember this skin in year one, though. Like, this is an OG. I haven't seen a lot of people run it. We got some pro league ones, some team ones. Nice. You got some 2019 team ones, too. I guess kind of on that topic, do you have a favorite uniform or headgear? Oh, I got some toxic uniforms, I'll tell you that. You know, we got the we got the classic Ember Eyes, of course. You know, gotta, gotta have the sterile soil as well. Oh, yeah. Favorite, to be honest, I've been a big fan of the, the recent the recent ones they've dropped. Mm. Like this one, cool yep. as hell, so cool. Oh, the Muppet ones, dude, the Muppet ones are nice. And a lot of people didn't get that. The, the Muppet skins are one of the only skins in the game that they've only appeared for one event and then never again. A lot of the other skins, you've had multiple chances to get. So if you have the Muppet skins, it is actually a lot more rare than than people realize. I'm a big fan of the the new ones, like these ones. Pretty cool. The Dead by Daylight ones are sick. Yeah, that, that Capcan one is actually one of the nicest for sure. Other than that, I mean, we got the Master Chief, of yep. course, of course. Love Master I Chief. I mean, listen, in scrims, it's, I mean, some people do care about skins, but you know, if you get peep, if you get shit on by Master Chief, you know who's like, <laughs> you know, you know who's in the well, lobby, right? It's like, and he's green. You know what? What map does he really blend in on? You know? Yeah, that's true. 
Yeah. No, nah, nah, he's a, he's cool for sure. I didn't ask any of the other people this, but I'm curious since uh since you're nuts and you have an insane amount of skins, you're about to get locked into a ranked game, and if you win, you get a million dollars, and there's no rules. What skin would you be putting on? I would take this question and put it in two categories. So you have the best skins that could be good in pro league, but also the ones that could be good could be good in ranked mm. so obviously in pro league you know i mean in ranked let's say, so to say i can just like throw on whatever right like it doesn't there's no rules i can just throw on whatever like anything that's bad right um yeah yeah but for comp this is the one thing like not a lot of pros think so for example like if we take some of the skins for example this is a skin that is allowed in pro league for example huh Okay. Either way, it's a it's a skin. Yeah, you can see the R6 logo. It has like the it's in the pro thingy, whatever. Um, see, like I would rather use default. Yeah. Over that skin for sure. It just blends in way better. Uh, that's also the reason I'm running the SSG skin right now because it just blends in way more. That makes sense. I would take those small uh, small things in cons into consideration for sure. Everything in this esports thing should be allowed. Okay. I don't know about this skin though. Wait, is that, <laughs> is that team skin? So that's just something I take into consideration if I do play Pro League. I try and equip some good skins uh, because, I, uh, for example, Buck. This is a skin I run in Pro League too, even on LAN, because I don't like how how bright the Buck, uh, the Buck skin is. If I like, I'm in a dark corner. That yeah. plus the glow, yeah, I can imagine. So I just, you know, I like to equip the MIBR because of the darker uniform. Mm some small tips in there yeah no i love that that's information that you don't get from like anywhere else so this one is, is probably gonna be a hard one for you because it takes you five minutes to scroll through your charms and all your skins what is the rarest item that you own it doesn't have to be a charm it could be literally anything okay all right i, I got you i got you <laughs> so first of all we have dust line right like dust line is hella it's season two man it's yep. been a long ass time it's been a long ass time with some of the best operators in the game it's Val it's the valkyrie season you know so dust line definitely is, uh, is up there because it's so long ago you know and it didn't come back so we have yeah th this skin as well season three year uh, year one yeah prana is nice we have i don't remember when this was released but it's a nice christmas skin so but this one is also with the prana skin they, they got released the same season dude that was nice too I'm pretty sure. Oh, year two season pass. Yeah, that's what it is. The year two pass, yep. Year two pass. Uh, I think this is from, I don't remember, but I think it's year one or two. Charms, you know, obviously the sport charm is the most rare one, right? <laughs> Gotta go with the sport charm. 90% <laughs> of the community got that one, but I do see you have 930 out of 1,041 charms. That is an impressive feat. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is uh, from like watching the event. Oh, okay. So that's... Wait, does that say 20... What does it say? 28... Oh, 2018. Dang. That's a long time ago. 20... Dude, six years. Franks wise, I have all the highest charms since the game got released. Oh, no. Apart from apart from two seasons, to be honest. So, yeah, as you can see, it's a black eye hey, silver. Black eye silver, let's go. <laughs> Started off bad, you know. Okay, so I have a fun story about this. So this is the first time I got the highest rank in the game. And back then... Yeah, you needed 6k elo with the old mmr system where you only got like plus five plus six this was like i don't know if you remember but this is so old that you remember like back when uh, diamond had it wasn't a number for how much elo you needed you just happened to get it you know it was like 4200 or something after that to get diamond and then they upped it to like yeah. 45 or something so the, the next season in uh operation oh what is it called but uh, i remember they dropped it from 6k to 4.2 and then everyone got diamonds everyone got it yep i remember that uh so oh, this one those are rare i too. like this one yeah and then we have we have the this is uh i like this one a lot yeah uh so the story behind this one was it was the japan pro leagues the last one i think where navi won and every attendee well i don't know if it was attendee or pro players so one of the two, they got this charm. All of the players got it, but they actually had it as a Twitch drop. So when I got it and the pro players saw it, they got they got pissed off. They were like, no, I want to have this for myself. Oh, so they didn't get anything exclusive. They just got it. Oh, man. It was just like a drop that was available for like two hours, I think. But yeah, I like this charm. I don't remember where it's from, but I think it's really cool. It glows as well in game. Really? Yeah, if you have higher graphics on, yeah. 
you have like the OG logo charms. I haven't seen anyone like ever run these. No, those are those are super rare. Cause I saw, I think it was the bandit one up above that you had. Oh, here. Yep. Oh yeah. Yeah. Uh, the OG bandit. Yeah, dude, that's crazy. One thing I'm sad I missed out on was like I only have the Brazil charm. These are like super OG, just the straight rectangle flag charms. OG castle. Yeah, I have more down here like this is one of my favorite ones if you showed that to like 99 percent of siege players and asked them to like guess what operator this used to belong to it would be so rare for anyone to like connect the dots between that and doc i guess it makes sense so it's like a vein but it looks like a tree <laughs> yeah we got fuse fuse yo yeah i would never guess this like it's just a nah. just a skull like we got iq I don't know where the correlation is there. This is my one of my favorite ones, though. The Jaeger one. Oh. That's a very cool one. That one is nice. Capcan. Got Monty. Even that one, like. Yeah, it's just a one, right? Mute. Got Mute. The Pulse. Got Rook. But this one, the Smoke one. This one is nice. It's real nice. That one is sick. U six Major USA. 2019 US Major, and these are some old ones. 2018 Paris, uh, some more logos here. Got a Chanka, Thatcher, Thermite, Twitch. Do you have like a super rare item that you don't like? This one. Oh, okay, fire. Wait, that was from the beta, I wanna say? Yeah, from the beta, yeah. Beta, okay, the open, there was the closed beta, which was Peacock, and then open beta was fire, I wanna say. Mm -hmm. Dang. Dude, that's actually so crazy rare though. But other than that, there's another one. It's it's the elephant one. Uh, yeah, here it is. <laughs> yeah. It's not a, not a great skin. <laughs> Say you could sell any item on the R6 marketplace. What do you think, if you had to guess, is your most valuable item that you have? Valuable item. I think, so the skin I actually just equipped, so I think this one would sell pretty good. This was one of the racer packs. Oh yeah, the racer skins are crazy, OG. Racer I think four. they look hella good too. I'm a big fan of them. I have the IQ one as well. Dang. Yeah, they're real nice. Yeah, the, those are so sick. I love the racer skins. So definitely, you know, throwing in, you know, dust line in there, uh, throwing in maybe some racer skins in there. Charm wise, I think these charms would, I don't know if they would sell that well, but they're kind of valuable, I guess. I think so. The, the rarity in them is insane. Yes, but this one definitely would sell well because this you needed 6k low in the old MMR system. Dude, that's it's like shiny, dude. Now those that is clean. Yeah, I'd say those would be my best sellers, I think. Well, that's it for this video. Let me know what you thought about this idea and let me know what you guys want to see next. I love you all. Peace.